What is up, Maniacs, and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone's having a great one. And today, we're going to be hopping into Yuga Master Duel Diamond Ranked, and I will be using the Grape Keeps deck. Of course, this thing, I've seen a lot of variations from it, and I've proceeded to make different variations of Grape Keeps themselves. But in this video, we're kind of focused on the anti-meta variation and at the end of the video i will show off the deck list but you guys are going to see some of the gameplays that i was able to take in diamond ranked of course this thing is not 100 percent it's definitely around a 60 to 70 percent percent win ratio right now but hopefully i could get it to a better ratio so if you guys are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe to it for some more awesome gameplay and make sure to slap that like button if you enjoyed the video Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you guys think that Grape Keepers should get some love and some new support. Because honestly, I think they would be top tier if that were to happen. But nonetheless, let's hop right into it. So for our first match, unfortunately, we're going to be going second. And in going second, we kind of get screwed. Because you definitely want to go first and set up your combos of course we're gonna go up against the freaking branded despia right off the rip and that's why i have non-fusion area and dimensional barrier but of course going second we can't have that negate power so we're kind of screwed to be honest but we're gonna see what we can knock out with this hand not really the strongest either <laughs> it's very unfortunate but they don't have a strong hand either. That's all they get. All right, it's all good. So what do we need to do? We're just gonna set our traps down and pass turn. And at this point, you could say, hey, I'm kind of scared because there's a lot of potential to get destroyed right here. But we're gonna pop the non-fusion area. And at this point, it probably would have been better to get dimensional barrier out. So I could a uh, fusion summon from them, from their monsters. But I did put the non-fusion error because I'm a bot, so hey, it is what it is. Okay, we're going to get the Grave Keepers out with the Moon Mirror Shield. Necro Valley's not on the field, so we're big chilling right here. He tries to use uh, Mirror Jade's effect. We're going to use Dimensional Barrier to negate fusion monsters and not allow them to be sp special summoned, of course. But we already have the non-fusion area, and we're going to attack into the Mirror Jade. Okay. He's going to use effect in the graveyard. And my stuff gets popped, unfortunately. But we are going to go ahead and continue on. Harpies? Ooh, what a perfect bait right there. Okay, we get the Starlight Road on. And he's going to max C. So quite unfortunate. He's definitely going to get a draw because of it. But the Harpy's Feather gets negated. And we get our Stardust Dragon on the field basically free hand we got protection so that is, is definitely strong another starlight road uh yeah why not we're gonna attack the ball of albaz get that thing out of here okay branded opening oh no way and when he did it i was gonna solemn judgment probably like, nah nothing he could really get but of course i forgot that he has that freaking dude all right oh well oh we got the dogmatical punishment let's go <laughs> dogmatical punishment is one of the super strong cards in this deck we're going to dogmatical punishment his despia monster and unfortunately that's about all we could do and he's still gonna have some plays so it is what it is this enchantress of the temple banishes it to get right of Arismir. all right and we're gonna solve that because we cannot allow him to get a token and i'm figuring that he does not have any other monsters oh he does but it's probably either an ash or a max c so we're big chilling we get nothing we get to draw absolutely nothing okay super fun and they didn't draw anything either so that face down must not have an attack okay another royal tribute with necro with no necro valley it's completely a wash so 
kind of mad about that. Oh, the twisters. Oh, perfect. Yes, yes, yes. Starlight Road. Give me another Stardust Dragon for free, my dude. I greatly appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Thank you, sir. You get Faithful Adventure. You get the Draco back. Okay. Branded opening. Of course. Uh, attack mode. Hello? Another Super Poly. Okay. This was before I took those out. Because... Because of non-fusion area, Super Polys basically don't work. So they're going to be replaced. You'll see the deck list at the end of the video. Okay. Okay. He's going to get a Dark Monster from my graveyard. And we have the Heretic. Okay. What else? Nothing. Uh, by now, freaking fusion monsters for days, but yeah, we'll get the commandant, get rid of my own heretic, and get rid of that bad boy. Now, he gets to draw a Alibur. Of course he gets a freaking Alibur. And at this point, I'm like, come on, I don't have any freaking Necro Valley or any, I mean, I could have got the Necro Valley with the commandant, but I definitely wanted to start destroying his monsters on the field. Griffin Rider, special summon. Okay. So at this point, I am not doing so hot, but I do remember my play that wins the games. Oh yeah. Number 70, Malevent Sin. Oh yeah. Uses effect to banish that card. Ooh, and then we're just gonna attack him to the face. Branded opening. Hmm. That would have been game, but. Of course, got the games, got the freaking plays. Alrighty, and on their turn, the Griffin comes back on the field, but they surrender because they didn't draw absolutely anything. Freaking insane. I love it. Gotta love it. So, let's hop right into the next match. And for the second match, we're gonna be going first, which is what you want. You definitely want to set up all your plays right away, all your floodgates and all the stuff like that all your negate power right off the rip get the heretic in our back row and now we are big chilling right now Ooh, the kaiju okay i've been getting kaiju a lot so i did read that card you know mostly i don't but i clicked exceeds monsters because i had a feeling that he wanted to exceed summon so not for this turn buddy not for this turn at all Oh, we get the commandant. Oh, okay. Let's attack him with his own kaiju and my commandant. Now, he's hurting. He's a big hurting right now. All right. So, he's got a special summon, Lantern Shark. Oh, let's summon that bad boy. We don't want you to get anything started. <laughs> and he surrenders. Oh, got to shut him down right off the rip and then can't do anything. So, let's hop right in to the next one. For our third match, going first, yet again. And we have a pretty strong hand right here. We have a lot of what we need. Of course, with the Necro Valley, Royal Tribute. Okay, he maxes, okay. Cool. Oh, the Flow Wanderies? Get these stupid birds out of here, my guy. All right, we've got the Spiritualist. We're gonna put the Moon Mirror Shield on it. And set our dogmatic of punishment. Now, let's see what they get. Okay, they get the map. And that is all. Sucks, my guy. Sucks. Get another dogmatic of punishment. So, I'm going to attack him to the face and pass turn. So, come to find out, this is one of those Rongo Flow Wanderies decks. That basically gets completely shut down. Gotta love it. Got to love it. Okay. Keep attacking with the Spiritualist. Now we're pretty much set. We got two turns. As long as he doesn't play anything. Pot of Duality. Ooh. We're going to hit him with not the Ash because I definitely hate the Ash. But hey, say no to the Pot of Duality. Shirt coming soon. Make sure to check on the Teespring account. That should be on there quite soon. Okay, attack the barrier statue. Ooh, okay. 
Unfortunately, we're not able to deal any damage to his face. But it's all good. He keeps blocking in defense mode. That's unfortunate because I keep not drawing any dang monsters. Okay, the maxi. Very unfortunate. Okay, we just need him to not draw a monster. Ah, oh, are you kidding me? Okay. Oh, finally the heretic. That's what I'm talking about. And of course I'm attacked with the heretic and it was a stupid ash blossom. That freaking ash blossom, dude. Kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay, so now what else you got? Another pot of duality. Unfortunately, this time I did not have another ash. Oh, the numbers. Okay, I see the numbers. Why did he get another map? I'm very unsure. Maybe he was scared I was going to blow it up. I don't know. We're going to go ahead and attack him with the Great Creeper Spiritualist and the Heretic. Now, he has 200 life. What can he do? Can he just shut me down? Ooh. Okay. So. We're going to go ahead and enter battle. I knew it was going to be an ash. Get rid of that ash and attack with the freaking heretic, my guy. Get out of here, dude. Oof. Learn from your mistakes. Try again. Get that freaking crappy deck out of here. So let's hop right in to the last match. And for our last match, again, we're going to be going second, which is not ideal. Eh, very much crappy. Magical Musketeers. Okay, we're going to Ash right away. Pot of Prosperity. And, of course, they have an out. They have a Called by the Grave. Whenever I get Ash, I don't have my Called by the Graves, and I do put it in my decks. But it does not appear, because... I don't know. I just don't have that RNG, man. Dark Ruler no more, Max C, and the Musket. Okay, I guess he goes for Max C. I guess he does not know that I will not be Special Summoning. But it's all good. Okay. Let's see what we get. Ooh, double heretic. We're going to start off with the Regeki. Destroy those. Put out the heretic with the Moon Mirror Shield just for some protection. Attack him to the face. And then set our Solemn Judgment, my brother. Ooh, evenly matched. We're going to Solemn Judgment that evenly matched. Because either way, I was going to lose something. Might as well just take it and Solemn Judgment that bad boy. Which that would have been pretty bad. Okay, the Starfire. Into the Musketeer Max. Okay. Special Summon. And that's it. Okay. Not too crazy. Nothing too crazy. Alright, we're going to special uh, summon our another Heretic. He activates his back row card. We're going to attack the one in defense mode. And attack this dude. Except he freaking makes me destroy my own monster. Uh, feels bad, my dude. The freaking musketeers are out for my blood. The maxi. Why? What? Hello? I guess he realized that he misplayed. So he just said, nah, I got to get out of here. So. This deck is pretty fun, super insane, and let's hop right in to the deck list. And for the deck list, basically it is a work in progress, so if you guys like, would like to try it, you can, but I'm definitely going to most likely be changing it up. You got three Ash Blossoms, three Gravekeeper's Commandant, three Grave Gravekeeper's Heretic, three Gravekeeper's Spiritualist, one Regeki, one Harpy's Feather Duster, one Terraforming, two Royal Tributes, Three Necro Valley's Throne, three Pot of Extravagance, three Moon Mirror Shield, three Necro Valley, two Starlight Roads, three Dimensional Barriers, two Dogmatical Punishments, two Solemn Judgments, and two Non Fusion Areas. And we're going to get the Elder Entity, two, one Mud Dragon, three Gravekeeper Supernaturalist, one Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon, two Starving Venom Fusion Dragons. Uh, Destiny Hero Phoenix. I don't know why it's in there. Five Head Dragon. Just in case you have to pitch that for Dogmatic Punishment, something massive. Two Stardust Dragons for the Stardust Roads. Starlight Roads, I mean. And the number 70, 11, and Sin. You could definitely use that 
to get something and get the last hit. But honestly, this thing has been working very well, even in Diamond. I'm going to keep using it and fine tuning it. So stick tuned for a video on that. If you guys would like, let me know in the comments below. But if you guys have made it this far, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not, because it really helps it out a lot. And about 75% of you guys that watch my videos aren't subscribed. So don't be a weirdo. Subscribe. And make sure to join the Discord if you would like to join the community. We have an awesome community there. We do um, deodorant battles mostly every Friday. Just the whole community joins up in a room and has some fun. And we're going to have subscriber battles hopefully every Thursday if that's available. And they're super fun. The community is awesome. But I hope you all enjoy. And I'll catch everybody on the next one. Peace. Thank you.